Hello everyone, and welcome back to Planet Zoo and our adventures here. Oh, this is so freaking cute. I love it when they do this. And our adventures here in the Blue Ridge Animal Wildlife Park, where we're looking over our cougars, our glorious, beautiful cougars that we really need to be able to build a bridge to so people can see them hiding way back here behind all of the other exhibits. And uh, hopefully, if we keep a good eye on our cougars, soon we will have a pair of cougar kits to celebrate. Oh, holy cow, they're actually mating right now. <laughs> Okay, hopefully we'll actually have a pair of cougar kits. Let's go ahead and give it just a second. <gasps> you guys, we're actually expecting cougar kits. Okay, that is fantastic news and that is absolutely groundbreaking and it means that it's time. It is absolutely time to go ahead and build ourselves a little bridge that we are going to use to guide people on over to where they can see the cougars up on this ridge. And while people are over here, maybe we'll be able to feed them. We'll be able to give them somewhere to get more water to have another restroom to use this is so cool oh my gosh i can't believe we're gonna get kittens and we're actually gonna have kittens pretty soon so let's check on when cleo our female cougar is now expecting her babies and pumpkin is also getting ready to mate in june okay so we we only have a few months time is gonna go by really fast so without further ado we're just gonna jump right into it we're gonna build a nice path Let's see, what kind of wood type should we use? If a woodchuck, woodchuck wood, uh, we'll go with this one. All right, we're gonna build a nice path and we're gonna find a way for people to be able to come and see our cougars. It's gonna be a little tricky. Okay, all right, hang on, hang on. Yes, that's the path I wanted to take. Yes, okay, so it's gonna be a little tricky and it's gonna look a little weird, but we will go ahead, let's do railing on elevated please because we don't want people to like fall off and then we're gonna build a fun bridge that people can actually walk across so that they can come right up and they can see our cougars i want them to be able to like come up here they can have a pathway whoops right next to our cougars let's lift that bridge up a little bit because we're going up the mountain okay all right, they're gonna need a little bit more space here. So let's back it up a little. Obstructed, okay. Oh, I got a little too close to the fencing. Okay, I see how it is. All right, let's do this. No fear, never panic, friends. And then we want snap alongside barriers to be off. That's more like it. All right, and then people are gonna have to walk across like this huge, chunk of land okay there we go nice 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 but that just gives them even better view of the alligators and the cougars let's lift you up again and then darn which i'm sorry i'm like having trouble remembering like my ups and downs ah there we go jay when it comes to being able to make these cool paths for planet zoo and we'll just get people up here and then I'll flatten the terrain out here so that we know that we're coming across like a nice smooth spot. There. Oh, and now the SMC American Alligator is having offspring? Everybody's just suddenly having babies. What the heck? All right. Well, it's almost, it's March. It's headed into, we'll turn this one more time. And yay, all right, we made it. We can now make a little cougar court up top here. Oh, and maybe this will be where we put the Arctic Fox. I need to figure out where we're going to put in the Arctic Fox. I can't believe we still haven't added her in yet. Don't worry, guys. I haven't like 100% forgotten about her. We're just having a lot of trouble like moving this, moving that. All right. Let's flatten terrain, please. There we go. We're gonna make a spot where our mechanics can wiggle over here so they can take care of this water treatment plant. And then, there. Now we're gonna have a little cougar court so people can come see the babies. Oh, that makes me very happy. All right, we'll wiggle this path over here. And staff only down here, please. There we go. 
All right, so now we can finally have someone come and like repair this. The bullfrog, Wolfie the bullfrog is having offspring. Yes, and people can walk across here. We're gonna come, can I edit this building? Group edit mode. Oh, I can't edit this building? Well, that's a little awkward. We're gonna pretend that's a gate then. All right, and then let's move some more of these swampy colored donation bins. I think just one will do. And we'll move it like over here so people can see the American alligator. And then where's my other donation bins? Oh, this is so thrilling. All right, well, I was gonna have a bunch of news and information about the beavers. Oh geez, we need more. We need more trash cans. Apparently people really like to spend time over here. So we'll put a second trash can over here. And then here we go. I was looking for these donation bins. And we'll come and add a couple donation bins like up here where hopefully people will entice them up here to see the cougar baby by giving them food by giving them food and sustenance so let's move this i actually really love the way this kind of looks sort of like a wild um like a wild little campground so maybe that's what we'll do oh we can make this like into a cougar campground of course all right what do people want the most they are very thirsty so let's actually install somewhere for guests to be able to get a drink i still haven't unlocked the arctic coffee and stuff like that let's i think we can risk doing some more mechanic researcher mechanics research with kayak or dragon do i want new world theme do i want to do a theme do i want to do i think we need shops more than anything like food shops apparently i only have bean burgers still and so we're going to do more research on food shops and drink shops Fingers crossed those two won't fight for space. Oh, look, a bunch of people made their way all the way up here. Never fear, friends. You did not come in vain. I will go ahead and supply you. Oh, we could have a little cave shop. <gasps> yes, I remember our cave shop now. Yes, we have a little, like, burger, too. This is totally, or a little hot dog shop. This is perfect. Like, a little cave all the way up here for the little cougar, like, campsite. Gosh, now I wish, I, I need to look on the Steam like workshop and see if there's a cutesy campground that we could just like put in here. All right, maybe this will do. I'll get rid of the fancy like exotic plant in just a second. And is that low enough to the ground? We'll do a log path for this. It was low enough to the ground, yes. And I'm going to make a little circle real quick. So we can do this. There we go. I just really love those. They're like roundabouts. They're people roundabouts. We can move this tree right into the center here. Oh, the American alligator has had offspring. Oh, that's so exciting. And we've got a new little spot where people can come get some food. It's a little campsite hot dog shop. All right, we're gonna remove that. So now the the look of the caves fit in pretty well. Fun fact, in the Blue Ridge Mountains, there are actually a ton of caves. It is one of, oh, Chloe's about to have her offspring. Now's the moment, friends. Oh, how exciting. Chloe, congratulations. This is one of the objectives we needed to fulfill. We're not gonna get silver or gold, but I will take bronze. All right, are you still working on that offspring imminent? You guys, cougar baby, cougar baby. And cougar cubs actually have, <gasps> there we go. Oh, what, you're so beautiful. Look at those blue eyes and look at those spots. You guys, new babies, we've done it. We have completed one of our major objectives, which was to make sure we had one new cougar board. And we've done it, you guys! Welcome to one little boy, one little boy, two little boys. We have two little boys, two little boy cougars. So, oh, I'm so happy about this. All right, what are we gonna go ahead and name them? Well, the next name on the random comment generator list from your guys' previous comments is actually Amelia. So I think we're gonna have Amelia's like hot dogs up here, Amelia's little campsite, because. You know, Amelia's kind of a girl's name, so we'll go with 
Amelia, actually, this will be Amelia's cave. Uh, cave, uh, a campsite, campsite cave. There we go. And that's going to sell some of those hot dogs. And then we'll come over and we'll name these two babies after the next two people on the random comments generator. And oh, the next one's I drink tea, love. <laughs> that's really adorable. So we're going to name this little guy tea. There we go. And then his spotty blue-eyed little brother, we are going to go ahead and name Burr. Oh my gosh, I love him. So that's actually after uh, Kaylee Burr. And Burr, you've never seen a cougar before. I highly recommend seeing if you can check out a cougar in person. They're one of the big cats that just really draws me in because they're native to where I live. And that that's just something very special to look at them and realize this huge animal with these beautiful strong muscles lives somewhere in the forest that i love and that i call home but even though they're so large and even though you might feel like they could be dangerous actually look at this little guy pushing his pinata toy around in the background actually they're very very shy and for the most part they just want to be completely left alone to live their very solitary and quiet lives i love cougars Yay! Oh, we need more enrichment for them! Okay, let's actually add in some enrichment over here so that they'll be enticed to come and play. And then we'll see if we can bring more people up. Oh, we're getting more people up at the campsite! Yes! And we'll get some more, like, donation bins. We'll get some educational areas. The more we can add, the better. Alright, species. And we want our beautiful new cougar. I love how many animals we have now. It's just so fantastic. And actually, they need some climbing spots too. Do they have good climbing? Food enrichment and toy enrichment. So they want more toys. A prong pronghorn pinata. Oh my gosh, okay, we'll add in a couple of those. There we go. So people can come and watch them hunt their little pronghorn pinatas. Um, and then toys. I don't think we have as many toys unlocked for the cougars as I wish we did, but these boxes are hilarious. Unfortunately, they, they're bored of the boxes, so we'll put a sprinkler over here. Okay, sprinkler, sprinkler, what about a gift box? There we go. <laughs> and we'll try to convince the cougars to come and hang out over here so people can actually see them. And then while they're here, let's actually theme this by North American plants. Hmm. And I'm gonna hide under a rock that maybe they can climb on. The sprinklers, which seems weird, but like, there we go. Some arrowhead bushes. There, see, I just like the, the slightly more naturalistic look of that. And Kitty the Bullfrog has had offspring. Oh my gosh, okay, we'll ha definitely have to check that out. We've got more people coming up to this little campsite spot. Uh, definitely gonna need to give that poor person working in here a name. So let's come on in and we are going to be naming Samuel. Hello, Samuel. You are now actually going to be um, corn dog connoisseur oh, connoisseur is such a hard word to spell hang on connoisseur hmm there we go okay corn dog connoisseur i had to like look up how to spell connoisseur because it is a french word and i i struggle with french oh my gosh corn dog connoisseur thunder thunder i am so grateful that you are still around as one of our amazing patrons helping to make all these adventures possible as always and you've been around for a very long time uh we'll try to get you some training and i'll try to get like a little staff relaxing area put up in just a second but first let's make a couple more roundabouts for the guest so that you don't get too cranky and cause too many problems. I actually love the idea of having a little campsite that's just like a bunch of these little roundabouts linked together. So we're gonna need to put one there. And then I think we'll put like either a drink shop or a couple bathrooms back here. So I'm gonna have another roundabout right here. And then let's put 
a drink shop like over here somewhere. Let's see, yeah, maybe right over here. Wow, actually, I really like the look of these just like circle roundabouts sprinkled between everything. Oh, mechanic research is done! Yes, a new food shop has been unlocked. I would really love more like drink shops, but I won't complain. All right, let's put this down. There we go. Yeah, that's actually really fun. It has like a fun little organic look to it. Okay, so let's put in drink stall. Hmm. Ah, I think I just have to go with like the basic drink stuff because unfortunately I don't have anything else unlocked just yet. I do have a water shop, but it needs, I guess I need to go to construction. Durr, architecture. And then I just need like the shell for shop. Let's see, shop shell. Anything unlocked? Can I filter by unlocked? Because <laughs> that would actually help. My filters. Unlocked, please. <laughs> no, I have like nothing unlocked. What about shell? <sighs> All right. What about here? Can I filter? There, just unlocked. Okay. Apparently, I mean, I do too have some things unlocked. Maybe that's not working right now. We'll work on that. We could have a cute little classic one. Darn, my my camping theme is being destroyed before it even gets started. But you know what? This this looks campsitey enough, so we'll take that. So let's see, Planet Zoo shop small. I'll take it in just a second. Let's put down the water stall. Where did my water go? Oh, pff, I have the shell still pulled up. No wonder. All right, we have slushy soda and water. I feel like everybody needs fresh water when you go camping. Oh, and we can make a little creek, like a cute little stream. Oh, I love that idea. Hang on. Completely unnecessary architecture for the win. We're going to do a little path. And I'm going to do... Here we go. Nope, we want one straight forward. Thank you very much. And then one down, there. All right, completely unnecessary bridge for a completely unnecessary little stream. But sometimes it, when you just get really excited about things in life, you should just go for it. All right, and we'll make a little stream, maybe come over here. We could have a little pool down here of water. And we'll have to build some more bridges. Have a little pool down here. People can walk past. Little creek. And I can make a pile of rocks with a spring in just a second. Let's see. Valid, obstructed. You really have to go deep on a lot of these. All right, that's not as deep as I wanted. That's a really pathetically small stream. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Keep going, keep going. Come on. I want to make a really cute little water path. All right, what about now? I'll take it. It's very tiny and not quite what I wanted. But like I said, can't be too fussy. Alright, that's better. That's actually quite a bit better. Also, one of the, the prairie dogs is about to have babies. Oh, I'm so tickled. We get to build our own little, like... Alright, we'll put a... I'm gonna put the drink shop right over here. Oh no, I don't think it's... Ah, wait, stay here, person! I don't think it's powered. Pip shop water. No power! Okay, we've got to power it. So let's grab some power. Here we go. And I'm going to put in... Let's see, electricity. It'd actually be good to have like a little electricity popping up back here, it seems. So I'm going to install this back behind where I want the restrooms. All right, we'll sneak you in. Yeah, I'm gonna put the restrooms over there. So I'm gonna sneak this in over here for now. Oh, and I'm gonna need to add like a lot of the repair people to come this way. Oh my goodness, it's just one thing after another. Oh, all right, let's get, let's get everybody some toilets. <laughs> 
That was like rule number one back in the early, 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 early days of running our zoo. And we're just going to use like this really boring little toilet. Because it actually does look like something you would find at a campsite. There we go. We've got restrooms. We've got a drink shop that should hopefully have somebody working at it soon. Whoop! Yay! And we've got new drink shop research! Taza! Whoa, and the vet research is going on our cougars! Yes! Okay, that's wonderful! All right! And you know what we need up here on top at cougar camp is we still need that place for... Oh, here. All right. We're gonna move this back a few touches because we're gonna need to have a place for our employees to actually get some rest. So I need to have a path down between the trees and then right back here we'll put a employee rest area. We're building a campsite guys! I didn't really expect this to like sprawl this direction uh, but that's what happened. And I love it because it lets us celebrate cougars and it makes room for us to add something up here. This place is huge um, and sprawling, but I'm sure it's going to be fine. All right, so let's add staff facility. And honestly, we just need like a little staff room back here. And it might have to be... Ooh, new world staff room. You know what? I'm going to do it. It's, it's very pretty and it's got plants and it's only a little bit more expensive than this one over here. All right. And then let's get that shell made. Where's the shell? Let's see. All. Oh, wow, that vet surgery is so pretty. We need to see if we have enough frogs that we can sell some of the frogs and get that vet surgery in there. New World Workshop. New World. Can I do this? Let's actually have... Pet surgery, shop, keeper hut. Is there a new world? Okay, new information center. Oh, that's really pretty. There's too many of them, but it's really pretty. Often the builds that you get. Oh, new world shop shell. Oh, I like that. All right. Sneak this over this way. And then we'll tuck this in just right. Ah, little itty bitty pieces have to move just so. Let's see, good, all right. And then I think we had a stray staff employee who ran away and we need to catch her. All right, was it Mabel? I think it was Mabel. She doesn't have a work zone, she's brand new and she's run off. So let's go grab Mabel and bring her back. All right, wait, no, she's serving customers? What? All right, Mabel's here. I guess we need to go ahead and hire another new person to take this side. <laughs> but we did it, you guys. We made a cute little spot where hopefully people will be able to come. All right, we'll throw it on this vendor. And this is actually going to be Cobalt. So this is going to be uh, Creek Scientist Cobalt. And he will be very busy, like, tending to this new zone. So let's add a new work zone. And we're gonna have Cougar Camp right up here. There. And Cobalt, thank you so much. Another wonderful addition to our zoo. As another, and we'll have this be Cobalt's Creek Research. Cobalt Creek Research, how about that? Ooh, I guess that we can name the, the creek after you, Cobalt, because that's actually a really great name uh, for a creek. And we're going to have you work here at Cougar Camp. Not to be confused with Cougar Corridor. Oh my gosh, people are thirsty. Oh my goodness, people are thirsty. <laughs> All right, guys, we are building a camp. I think we're going pretty well on this. We're going to try to like tidy up the camp a little bit more, maybe put in some little exhibit zones. Uh, we're going to see if we can really start pulling in some of those donations. Yes, more research done and feeding everyone because that will probably help us a lot with the money. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for little Burr and T, our new cougar kit. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious.
and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.